Hi everyone, this is Deborah from Deb's Fitness Journey, and today is Vlog Monday, and I have a very special guest today, Matthew, my husband. I'm Matt. Yes, this is Matt, and um, he's just going to do a short video on his perspective as a spouse and partner with someone who has depression. My name is Matt, and I am Deborah's husband. I've been married to Deborah for close to four years, and we've been together for a little over five. So what I'm here to talk to you about is what it's like being married to somebody going through depression. I wrote a paper about it, and so I just wanted to read you a little piece of my paper just to let you know kind of what I'm thinking. And so the abstract to my paper said, there are many different trials in life that can make it difficult to build a strong relationship with your spouse. How we move forward in our lives, being the actions we take and the choices we make, will determine whether we are one of the 50% who wind up divorced or one of the 50% that wind up uh, fighting towards what God intended our marriage to actually be. A lot of what I talked about in my paper was, you know, working with somebody who's coming at things from an illogical state of mind versus like a healthy state of mind because even though somebody is healthy it doesn't mean that the way that they think might fit on that same scale with everybody else so it could be something totally real to them and totally affecting them but it is completely separate from a logical conversation that you two might be able to have together it's a long process of working uh, with each other to build that healthy state of mind and to find a place of uh, like common ground and it just takes a lot of patience uh, and a lot of love it helping that person to find the right doctors be on the right medications uh, work through the hard times and then enjoy the good times. A major depressive disorder is marked by at least two weeks of continually being in a bad mood, having no interest in anything, and getting no pleasures from activities. And in addition, a person must have at least four of the following symptoms. Uh, problems with eating, sleeping, thinking, concentrating, or making decisions, lacking energy, thinking about suicide, and feeling worthless or guilty. Imagine the pain that, you know, somebody going through this stuff would be experiencing. I mean, it nearly brings me to tears just to imagine my wife, like, going through something that intense. And, I mean, I'm a strong believer in if you have the knowledge, it's only going to make things easier because if you don't have a clue what you're dealing with or what that person's going through you're not going to have any idea how to help them and so I mean first step if you want to you know have a great marriage or have a healthy relationship or just uh, do well with somebody going through depression you need to be able to, um, to understand what it is they're experiencing and not just for the average person but particularly for your uh, spouse and then knowing it's half the battle having the patience to actually work through and deal with it, it's a whole nother story it's just really good to know what you're facing I guess the final thing I have to say that I'd like to just mention in this post is uh, being a, a Christian is not just you know something that you say that you are it really is a way of living. A book that I read called Core Christianity and it said those who were called Christians were known for their relationship with Christ. And so, you know, when was the last time we really thought about that? He also said that the Christian meditates on scripture and on the person of Christ to fill himself with knowledge of Christ. And if you can have that relationship with God and you can live your life according to uh, trying to be like Christ, then you can get through, not only get through depression, but be able to be there and deal with the things that that person's dealing with to uh, remain in good communication and relationship with someone who's going through that. I want to encourage people to 
I mean, first of all, seek out a relationship with God that's going to be life-changing. And second of all, let it change your life for the better and use it to seek knowledge and uh, seek patience. You're going to be able to have a great relationship and help somebody that is unfortunate enough to be going through uh, such a disease uh, or mental illness as depression or bipolar or anything else. So thank you very much for listening. Sorry if it doesn't make too much sense. Got a lot to say in a little bit of time. So thank you very much. I feel so nervous with you here. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> the storms are brewing. <laughs> it's scary outside.